Dr. Kelly, thanks for joining us. No, you're welcome. Great to be here, Josh. Just to start off, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how long you've been working in uh, sports injuries? Yeah, so I'm an orthopedic surgeon and uh, I work here at St Andrews Hospital um, in the middle of the city. Um, I qualified in 2003, uh, went overseas and did some post-fellowship training in knee and shoulder surgery and uh, I've been back working in uh, public and private practice since 2005. Yep, yeah, awesome. Why did you choose to focus on the, the knee and shoulder surgeries? Uh, well, it's been a love of mine. I, I think they're great areas of the body um, to work on. Um, when I was overseas, I did a lot of arthroscopic uh, techniques and training in uh, complex sort of knee and shoulder surgery. And I think both of those joints tend to lend themselves to the arthroscopic techniques that we use. And uh, for that reason, that's what I decided to focus on. Um, unfortunately, it's also, they're probably the two most common areas of the body that get injured in sport. So that's what I focus on. Just speaking on that, what are the most common injuries that you see from rugby league players? Yeah, well look, unfortunately the bigger injuries are going to be your ACL tears uh, or your shoulder dislocations and unfortunately we do see that quite commonly. Um, a lot of minor strain injuries as well, things that possibly don't need surgical intervention, they can be treated by physiotherapy and uh, the North Devils are lucky, they've got the joint physio at Nunda that are really helping and look after that. Uh, a lot of meniscal tears as well we see, so it's, it's a combination of injuries. Uh, we're always trying to reduce the number of injuries the players are having though. So when someone comes in with one of those, what is the process? How do you fix that up? Yeah, well look, I think uh, one of the great things that uh, the North Devils have at the moment is an affiliation with St Andrews Hospital where uh, either players or, or club members can uh, get rapid access through the emergency department for assessment of their injuries. And I think they might even get a discount too on the, the fees, which is great. Um, and, and that helps. Getting urgent assessment uh, is, is one of the big priorities. Uh, from there, uh, they can get rapid access to see me in my clinic. And after assessment and imaging is done, which we can do quite urgently, uh, we can make a plan and generally look at fixing those players and getting them back on the paddock as quickly as we can. Unfortunately for the bigger injuries we mentioned before, like the ACL tears or the shoulder dislocations, they're going to need reconstructions as players and that does put them out for up to a season. But the sooner we get them treated, the sooner they're back on the paddock. Yep. Is it possible to get back to 100% after an ACL tear, for example? Look, I think it is. Um, not all players are going to get there, but luckily uh, with a good team of dedicated physios um, and you know, with, with surgery that goes well uh, and players who are motivated and, and you know, semi-professional football players are very motivated, there's a very strong chance most of them will get back to near 100% and certainly play to their capacity. Yep. Is there anything you wish more athletes knew about knee and shoulder injuries? Oh, look, I think the, probably the biggest thing I'd like players to understand is that, um, you know, all injuries need to be assessed and assessed quickly. Um, sometimes they can seem minor and, and relatively uh, uh, irrelevant, but often they're not and they can do a lot more damage uh, on, on their knee or on their shoulder if they ignore some of these injuries. So they need to take the advice of the club doctors, the club physiotherapists, and they need to get their injuries assessed quickly. And if they are minor, great, but if they're more significant, the quicker we can treat those, the less damage they do to themselves. Yep. Um, so what do athletes who have uh, knee or shoulder surgery need to be aware of long term? Well, this goes probably back to my last point. You know, if it's left untreated or treated badly, or if the players ignore their injuries, sometimes the biggest complication of these injuries is in the long term, they can get early onset of osteoarthritis, either in their knee or their shoulder. And, and look, sometimes even with surgical intervention, that's gonna happen. So it's making players aware that injuries can have long-term consequences. We're trying to minimize those consequences and delay the onset of some of these inevitable changes like osteoarthritis. Yep. Um, how much has injury treatment changed over the last 20 years? Oh, look, I think injury treatment's changed a huge amount. Just, you know, the player's understanding of injury profile, the club's professionalism with uh, the multidisciplinary teams that look after the players, um, that itself has been a huge um, improvement um, at early recognition of injury, um, treatment of injury, uh, whether that needs surgery or otherwise. 
And I think as a result, we're seeing better outcomes for the patients and in, in a lot of cases, often an earlier return to sport as well. Yep, awesome. Um, what do you enjoy most about your work? Oh, well, I, I love surgery. I, you know, being a surgeon, that's my most favorite time of the day is being in the operating theater. But what I like is watching players who have uh, been injured, um, get treated, do well, recover well, and just watching them get back on the paddock and uh, you know doing the best that they can. Seeing them get back to their best is probably what I enjoy the most. How can people get in touch with, with your surgery if they do have an injury and they, they're looking to get some help? Yeah, look, the easiest way to get to me is to uh, call my surgery practice, 1300 562 247. Speak to my secretaries and say to the girls that you're affiliated with the North Devils. Uh, I'm the preferred orthopaedic provider for the North Devils and we have an arrangement that um, when patients let us know that they're uh, affiliated with the North Devils, we'll make sure that they get rapid access to see me for an appointment, get rapid access to imaging, and we can formulate that management plan and get them back on the paddock as quickly as we can. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for your time, Kelly. And, no, Josh, um, you're best. welcome. Great Cheers. to see you and it's great to be with the North Devils. Thanks very much. Cheers.